the original one uh, made to save that one. On video 161, Dave had just skin pinned the starboard bottom skin into place. This was on fuselage from Doncaster KB976. This week he has skin pinned the next skin up on the starboard side. He has still work to do on this skin. Leaving one skin to go to complete the forward section, this will require the help from Phil as they have to pin three skins together through the formers and stringers around the door area. Once the new skins are pinned in place they will be removed for painting, leaving the skeleton of the fuselage more accessible for spray painting. Skin cut out, yeah? Oh, it's way in there. Um, oh. It's oversized at the minute. Yeah. Obviously, I'll. That's the, this is the last piece of skin. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's oversized at the minute, but I'll clamp it all in position, put a few um, holes in, pin it, and then trim it all down. Yeah. So, yeah. Then by Friday, it might be. <laughs> be... Yeah, it depends how this one goes, put it yeah. far to put minute. Yeah. I'd sooner not have it up, I'd sooner have it going up than. Come and taking a picture yeah. when it's up. <laughs> I like a picture of action. I'll try, try and time it for that. Yeah. Yeah. If not, it'll be the, be the following Friday. Yeah. Why are you going to wake up then? No, definitely the following Friday. I'll try and keep it all together. Yeah. If it's not ready for this Friday, yeah. so you can have a. A good do. Yeah. yeah. Put the little clips on anyway, that'll take quite a while. Yeah. Now Keith, is this the one you were working on, making the that one, top yeah. piece? Yeah. So this is the part yeah, the two you were just made? Yeah. Or last two days. And that's ready to be, go on then is it now? Yeah, just got to have a couple of little touch-ups with the paint. Yeah. Or it's flaked in some places and then it'll go in. Position down there. Well, she fits on about here, does it? Yeah. <laughs> so, when you got this rib done and got that plate done, where do you move to next? Well, there's another plate that I've got to wait for, which is a flat plate, which bridges that, that piece there, yeah. only goes to there. Hi, oh, yeah, you've got a piece to come further and then on. There's another plate that goes on the front that's got all the plug rivets in it oh, and, a, and a row of rivets. Yeah. Double row of rivets. They go Those. These holes in it. Yeah. yeah. It attaches to there and then bridges between yeah. the two. So it's still a lot of work to do. Yeah, You're well, still on that I'm area. For that to be painted, when that's painted, I can rivet that plate to this, and oh. then it can be installed yeah. as a complete unit, rather than trying to rivet that up yeah. in position, which would be a flipping yeah. nightmare. Yeah. So you can get the other, the fourth ribbing, and that is the tank area. That, well, there, the tank support ribs in. Yeah. But then we've got to put rib 22 in together. 
Well, that's the big heavy one. one. Yeah, the, the box end. section one. Yeah. Yeah. That's got to be put in, and that's at the end. Yeah. And then the the um, uprights that go from there because oh. it makes a box section yeah. around it. The uprights attach to this, and then they attach to Rib 22. Yeah. So I can't put the uprights in until we put Rib 22 together. Yeah. That's where you've got to cook the rivets. Yeah, but we're waiting for the... Uh, we've got to get the oven calibrated first. Or we can uh, cook the rivets. Yeah. <laughs> OK, Keith, thank you. So what we've been doing then? All the... Um, all the cleats... Well, 90% of the cleats are fitted now, fully fitted, so it's quite a sturdy... Oh, um, that's good. Yeah. So there's just about 10% 10, 10 left them to fit, which will fit when the skins come off and be painted because it'll be easier to do that way. Yeah. So the main, main structure is all clipped together now. I'm just trimming this last skin down, which is um, being filled Yes, they put up quite a fight actually. Um, but we managed to get there in the end. Yeah. Because it, it, it overlaps these extra skins here. Yeah. It goes over them, it's quite awkward to get, to get in position and it's also curved as well so it's quite hard to get around but we've got there in the end. So it was a good job we was in yesterday to help me out. Yeah. And fortunately this skin here because it's trapped in, in between yeah. did, look, did look quite good still. Oh does it? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. And it didn't really show through so we can leave that as it is. <coughs> well, will you get it on today? Um, don't, don't know. No. How long are you here for? Oh, not look, long. No, probably not. There's <laughs> got quite a bit to do on that before. Yeah. You're better off... Ne well, next week we'll have... This has got to come off, obviously, have the blue stuff and cleaned up. That'll yeah. go back on, all blue stuff, and then that'll be on. So next week when you come, it, it will be... Completed. Yeah, ready for you. And then, uh, when, once you've done that, we'll start knocking the skins off to be painted. Yeah. So the skins are going to be painted separate now yeah. off the off the aircraft. Off yeah. the aircraft yeah, once, yeah. once they're all off, then uh, Bob's going to spray the skeleton as it is. Yeah. Once we've put all the, the rest of the seats on. So you can spray all that, and then as the skins come back, we'll just bang them. Oh. Yeah. Obviously, that that one there will will stay, stay on, on yeah. so we'll, we can rivet that one straight away. So we're not far away now. No. Carry on putting them in. Yeah. yeah. For a permanent fixture yeah, now yeah. once you've got them drilled and so riveted. Once, once all this skin comes off, it'll still be a rigid structure now and everything yeah. be in place. So that once the skins are painted, it's straight back on, yeah. rivet on. Are they all the same, the cleats? Yeah, they're all pre-made. Um, so when you take them off, you'll be able to just jungle up and put any of them back, will you? But I'm literally what I'm doing is drilling them off here, quick lever back on and rooting them on. Oh, leaving them on? Yeah, so I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm with you now. So we're doing it, doing it all in one go. Yeah. Um, it's quick as the best way of doing it. And then, yeah. And then we can pop the So they're stopping on the frame? Yeah. I'm, I'm, Oh. Drill the three holes off, quick lever, put them back on, move them on, so on yeah. and move on. Keith has now riveted the last tank rib into place on the rear wing spar. This is the French wing NX. 664 Hang on, we're talking to Jacob again. Oh, fine now. Uh, yeah, so what I'm making this week is I'm making a bracket 
four. Ba -ba -ba. Here we go, this way around. I won't grip a pin it all together. No. Basically, this sits like this. Mm. And uh, you can then pop a bobbin of locking wire in between it. It's going to be bolted onto the side of a toolbox. So, Follow me, folks. Hold it on like that, and then you'll be able to take your locking wire out from the centre and just reel a bit off, cut it to length you need. Good. So, been practicing all the things I've been learning, so yeah. um, riveting. You've covered that with um... masking tape. So well, you can mark it up easier because if you use pencil straight onto the aluminium, then it it's cor starts to corrode it. Oh, does it? Um, yeah. I never knew that. So um, I've been I tried some lightning holes as well, yeah. um, which is the first time I've done them. Yeah, they're quite a like, little tool that is for make, yeah, making. Yeah, and it holes. makes it so much more rigid yeah. than the original. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, when you look at what John's working on, though, they yeah. are so flimsy, aren't they? Yeah, it looks flimsy, but those those lightning holes provide so much strength. Yeah, so. and then the, the rest of the strength comes from the. Um, um, yeah. The edge pieces, isn't it? Just getting ready for the one thirty taxi run. <laughs> 